These are the voyages of Treasured Times, her continuing mission to explore the oceans of South Florida and the Caribbean, to seek out unknown islands and forgotten places, to give an unforgettable adventure to everyone who is welcomed aboard. I'm Captain Adrian Collada, and this is First Mate and Mechanic Engineer Michael Collada. And this is our little bird, Squeaky. On our floating home away from home, the three of us are always looking for our next adventure. Sometimes when we least expect it, the adventure finds us instead. Welcome aboard Treasured Times. Captain's Log, October 30th, 2020. I do believe it's time for another adventure. Oh, you fancy. Huh? You getting fancy. Get Today fancy. we will head out for some stone crabs. And we will be staying the night for the first time offshore aboard Treasure Times. I always want to say that now. She's doing the hokey pokey, turning herself around. <laughs> There's an iguana swimming up here ahead. I think they just swim back and forth here all the time. The wind should calm to almost zero by evening, and we are only a day away from the full hunter's moon. We are bound to have some incredible sights. Tyler and Jim came along for the trip. Last week, Mike spent hours upon hours cleaning the props, resulting in a much smoother ride. Persistent southeast winds brought in that crystal clear deep ocean water. We are much more comfortable to stay out overnight with an additional 100 feet of anchor chain. The claws are going to be in like that. You can just grab them and you could gently, you know, pull them out. The agenda for today was for Buttercup to harvest some stone crab claws. Crab and just kind of scoot them all the way out of this hole. Interesting. After a quick lunch and a lesson in stone crabbing, we suited up and loaded up the dinghy. What are you doing down there? On you. Let's go diving. <laughs> okay. I explained to Tyler that most recreational stone crab hunters and commercial fishermen will use traps to catch stone crabs. Once the claw is harvested, the crab is tossed back into the water. This leaves the crab vulnerable to passing predators like sea turtles, groupers, or octopuses. We prefer diving for them so we can return the crab back to its burrow, giving it the best chance at survival. We use bait on the end of a stick along with a good dive light to allow us to get a good look at the crab so we don't waste time on a crab we can't harvest from, such as a female carrying eggs or a crab with undersized claws. Stone crabs are often shy and will retreat inside their burrows. I use an aluminum rod bent at an angle greater than 90 degrees. An angle less than 90 degrees is considered a hook and is illegal to use. I use this tool to feel around in the burrow. Sometimes the crab will fight with it, but most of the time they will tuck away in the back of the burrow or bury themselves in the sand. When this happens, most of the time it's safe to reach your hand inside. Once I reach inside, I can cut my hand over the crab and carefully pull it out while it tries to bury itself in the sand. Once the crab is out of the burrow, I will position my hands over each claw until I have a firm grasp. The removal of the claw is critical in the crab's survival. If the claw is removed incorrectly, it will leave a hole in the crab's body where the claw once was, and the crab will die. Unfortunately, I could never master this technique. After a couple of bad breaks my first year of stone crabbing, I have been using a pair of snips ever since. I discovered when the claw is punctured near the joint, the crab will instinctively detach the claw itself in an attempt to escape. When this happens, it always results in a clean break, and the crab will live to grow another claw. It takes about three years for a claw to grow back to the original size.
As always, the crab is returned back to its burrow. After watching me for a while, it was Buttercup's turn. Tyler caught his second stone crab just in time before our tank ran out of air. Once back aboard the mothership, Mike and I took round two for stone crabs. To the top of the claw, the bottom claw, right? Yeah, the fixed one. Yep. Yep, that little so, joint. Yep, that's good. So, that one's good. Cool. With a full tank of air, we headed farther west to some fresh hunting grounds. <laughs> the boat caught three by herself. Oh, yes. The boat caught three. That's pretty good for a boat. Boat catching three by herself. On our way back, we noticed quite a bit of water in the dinghy. We got a lake back here. <laughs> we got a lake. Well, a $200 dinghy includes the problems of a $200 dinghy. And we will probably be replacing it soon. Are you having a reggae party? I'm having a reggae party. Having a reggae party? Are we invited? Let's go. <laughs> you guys need to get your invitation? <laughs> we got a full bucket of stone crabs at least. We got a few. Got a few? Yeah, we got a few. Got a few, few, More few. than we did. This is stone crab round two today. Apparently, Adrian and Mike got more than we did on the first time. <laughs> We got about, I don't know, I'd like to say a dozen would be overkill, but I'd say we probably got nine or ten. Oh, you and I? Yeah. Okay, so I think we got nine. Yeah? Yeah. So we did about the same. I'm still exaggerating, that. but how's the visibility? Good. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't, actually, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, Mike? Under the cooler. Oh, that's okay. I Forget about the weight. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we just got oh wrecked. Boy, that would have been bad. That's on camera. <laughs> How long was I in the water for? Uh, today, we got probably like. How many tanks? Two. Two out of nine. Two out of nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Depends on how I'm breathing. Depends on how much you're breathing. Five. Yeah. What time is there? It's a niner. What? No. That was not nine. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably like five, three, six, four. Mike, what time is it? Okay. <laughs> hey! Well, yeah, probably four or five hours. Finally, somebody with some real answers. Uh, <laughs> what the heck did you do to my fishing pole? I don't know, Jim. Uh, that's I, what. I, I didn't. Don't blame me, I'm correcting it. I don't so know what happened. Like, 
<laughs> I told Jim to go catch some dinner and he threw the fish in the pine. That's not a casting rod, baby. No? No. This is the end of one day of stone crabbing. I hate to admit it, but Mike and Adrian caught two more stone crab than Adrian and I did. In my defense, it was my first time going out, but you know what? We got a whole lot of stone crab for dinner. So I ain't even mad at you. I ain't even mad at you, baby. What are we fishing for? I don't know. Do you know that all fishermen are liars? No idea what you're talking about. Do you know what a lobster is? Nope. Never seen one before. How many lobsters did we catch today? No. Because I don't know what they are. <laughs> With cooked stone crab claws on ice and the sun beginning to set, we all eventually made our way to the bow. <laughs> So here we are, on the bow of the ship, sharing stories with friends of previous adventures while the sun is setting in the west and the full hunter's moon is rising in the east. Making memories, living in the moment, and laughing, all cares and stresses left behind. Moments like these are the reason we keep coming back for more. Boat life is not always easy and fun, but this is what makes it all worth it in the end. We got two more stone crabs than we yep. did. That, 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 let's start there. That's amazing. When you, <laughs> when you think about it. Nine stone crabs, we got no nine claws. Right, and we got, we got seven. seven. We got yeah, seven. right. Mike and I got nine. Nine, and we got a. Spider crab and I got seven. seven. I told you. My first time. I, had I known it was home. a contest, I would have gone with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That was a green one. Done? Alright. Yay! <laughs> it's like blackjack. Right. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Captain's Log, October 31st, 2020. Beautiful though. Oh, there's the sun. Buttercup was the first one awake this morning. Happy Halloween! It's Saturday, October 31st, 2020. Treasured Times, Marathon, Florida. We anchored out last night by Sombrero Lighthouse. After having a nice stone crab dinner. Bacon butter bacon. Look at that bacon. I smell bacon. <laughs> Since the dinghy was out of commission, we will be using this red spear fishing raft. Mike will follow us on the boat while Buttercup and I drift with the current in search of that elusive black grouper. Bye. Bye. Here's a grouper behind this rock. I must get a little closer before taking the shot. That's a loss that will bother me all week, I'm sure. And it looks like a loss for Buttercup as well. At least we found some lionfish. I'm glad they don't swim fast like the groupers do. Look 
Looks like we will be having lionfish sandwiches for dinner. The wind was starting to pick up, so once aboard, it was time to head back in. While Mike was driving, I took the opportunity to try to get a view of the boat from under the anchor as she cuts through the water at full speed. It was amazing to see. I have been turning in lion fishtails to FWC for the past few years as part of their eradication project. In return, they send me items like the knife I am using now and the containment tube and trident spear I was using earlier in the day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell. See you all next week!